a orange one here so it's gonna get pretty loud real soon because we got a lot of zombies we gotta fight i apologize i won't do much talking during it um this tank i'm pretty sure is gonna punch me and i'm gonna go flying so while he's doing that i might as well reload my gun it's <laughs> out of ammo here oh, yeah ow that's okay i kind of expected that to be honest um what we need is probably to kill that tank i think they're they're so fast the tanks i think that they'll catch up to us pretty soon yeah i think they're gonna just push right past that nadir maybe maybe not we'll see yeah here we go do I just go auto on him? Yeah, let's do auto. Maybe, um, actually take a shot. Oh. Never mind. Go ahead and go auto. I'm not looking to mess around with that anymore. <laughs> um, we could honestly get in the car and head back and we'd be okay. I mean, it's tempting. I think I'm gonna go for it. We're getting a little bit overran there. I'm pretty sure we're on an adrenaline high. Yeah, adrenaline rush. Which means we're not gonna be able to sustain this for forever. Yeah, let's get let's get out of here. It's not worth not worth dying over. You know. EMP blasts. Okay, they got the incandescent hulk there. I think I could honestly just kind of drive backwards and then like kill some of these guys up here and it'd be fine. I mean if... hold on. They're continuing to chase. Okay, they're kind of still continuing to pursue. Let's just block line of sight so they don't see me anymore. Then we'll reload. Yep, that looks good to me. Okay, we we are definitely a little hurt. We definitely want to be a little bit careful. Our backpack is still down there. I would like to get that backpack still. And we can kind of reassess the situation. I mean, even with adrenaline come down, we're okay now. We just need to make sure that we don't charge in. You know? It's... Yeah. Just be smart about how we're engaging here. The hunter killers. Yeah, I can handle them. I've got plenty of health right now. Uh go ahead. Yeah, get the Jane out. Just drop the gun, it's fine. Like the hunter killers are tough enemies. Actually, very tough enemies. I didn't realize how tough this guy is. Oh, wow. So they're, um, used to be a, a soldier, so they got, like, higher armor. Yeah, we're not really doing much damage to them. That's okay. They'll probably give us some decent experience, right? Let's just make sure that we're in the clear. There we go. Yeah, I think that we'll be able to make our way down. We're just going to have to maybe be a little bit more cautious than we were we were being there. <laughs> also, we should probably sleep. I just realized. Um, oh, hold on. We don't have our gun with us. I just also realized that. Hold up. I don't know who's that coming our way there. A nadir. Yeah, I should probably stay near my gun. I don't want to get too far out there. That's just a bear. I, for a minute, I thought it was a tank. If it was a tank, then we'd be in trouble. But we're okay. Doing just fine. Go ahead, get the gun back, I guess. Pick that up. Yeah, it's been pretty crazy right now. It's like, even though it's distant learning, I have tons of free time to do stuff like this. I just need to like kind of like plan around it. It's been really nice. I I thought that when I went back to doing the distant learning that it would be just like insane trying to schedule things. 
Um, but it's okay. You know, I think that I've found a system that works pretty well for me and my students. But it's just kind of crazy, the whole, um, just the whole thing. <laughs> Trying to teach remotely. But like, honestly, it's not that bad because I have, uh, some familiarity with like web design and just like just from using websites to be honest not much more than that but you don't really need much more than that okay that whole husk is kind of coming towards us let's get the gun out then oh whoops that was unnecessary might as well get the uh the one that i want near right why don't you come up closer to the car I'll just get you as close as I can, really. Oh, you get a little bit closer. Yeah, you can start getting the stack near us. I'm gonna take you out there. That's pretty safe, yeah. Nadir, take you out as well. We should probably take care of the corpses before we try and get the CBM out of this and uh, see what we get there, you know? Okay, there that guy goes. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, the one weird thing is that it's like everything's just happening at like random times almost, and so it just seems like there's a lot of like wasted time or people don't really know where to meet in terms of like virtual meetings. That's been kind of a mess. <laughs> Or like kids don't know where their class is, but it's like, what does that mean in a virtual setting? <laughs> Basically means what web, web address. And yes, kids don't know what web address to go to. It's it's bad. Oh, you're just a slavering biter. I'll just show you. Whatever. Fine. I thought there was a necro boomer in here, which I think there might still be. Might be why we got these things. So I thought that snapper and whatnot we had taken care of. No. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, this is what happens when you go full auto on a child. <laughs> you get a lot of bits, basically. Uh, where was the tank? Here we go. Definitely take care of the tank. And hey, we got a backpack. That's nice. Uh, hold on. Now we got... A juggernaut coming our way. Great. Okay. Why don't we fall back just a little bit? He can push on that car. All he wants. Gonna... Reload. And we'll push further in. I suppose I should have taken the one out of the backpack. Actually, yeah, let's get these in. Oh no, there's a smoky, smoky boy over there. My least favorite. Not my least favorite, but they're really annoying. I think they're stuck on a wall or something from what we're seeing. Yeah, I know we could use our batteries, but we have the bullets. Okay. Um... Yeah. Seriously? Okay, we're gonna get punched soon. We gotta go down. There we go. <laughs> that was insane. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm not on fire, am I? No, I'm not on fire. There's an Ickus apparently about to attack me. I need to get out of there then. If I can. Oh no, I'm coughing heavily. Uh, if they get me because I can't get away, I'm going to be really mad. Um, I think they're right there. I'm going to have to just go auto on them and pray that I kill them. They melted away. Okay. I think that we're in the clear then. And then uh, I did not.
not get lit on fire. Um, let me just take a second to make sure that we're all good to go. I mean, I'm pretty sure we are. Oh, we're just like standing in smoke right now. That's why our character is all trying to run away. Yeah. Close that. Fine. I guess. I, we're going to have to deal with being out of breath for a little bit. It's just kind of part, part of what's going to have to happen right now. Sorry. Um, wait till we catch our breath. Here we go. We're back. Took a little while, but we're okay. Get our hearing back. We should be able to um, get further into the city now, right? Yeah, I also have been really worried about just kind of the mental health side of things as well. That's probably for me been the biggest concern is how everyone is going to collectively handle, you know, coming back from this. And like trying to get back to regular life. Because I don't know about you all, but like for me trying to go back from like not really working to distance working, that was a shock to the system. And it's been a real shock for the kids too. And it's like we got to give ourselves some... The wiggle room with that. Um, I really would like it if our focus was higher. I think we're gonna have to wait a little bit more. Oh jeez. Nope, not auto. <laughs> Trigger finger. That's what I'm gonna go with for that. Okay. You know, we could play some harmonica. Spend some time doing that. Yeah, let's do that. You know, that's also been a nice thing with my students is that it's been kind of an inside joke. Is that I play harmonica for them? Okay, let's let's let him get closer. I was gonna fix you up, but it looks like you got necromancered. Maybe there's another uh, husk around here, possibly. Let's grab that one for now. Do some work on him if possible. Oh, there's a Kepler zombie right there. That could have been bad. Uh, they have pretty good armor, so let's get a laser rifle out for that guy. Uh, where is it? Where's the, uh, the laser rifle? I'm not seeing it right now. Oh, is it in our backpack? Yeah, here we go. Okay. Dropped our backpack, I forgot. Go auto. Yeah, they're pretty much dead. There we go. Easy. Easy peasy. Yeah, I think that I've been trying to give myself plenty of um, wiggle room as well myself, because I think that it's really hard. Uh, to keep yourself at such a high expectation during these times. So I basically told myself, like, it's okay if I can't do a bad job. <laughs> but, like, honestly, I think it is okay if we all do kind of a bad job during this time because we're not going to be able to do as good as we would like to do. We have to just accept that, you know? Too bad I can't eat these desserts. I can eat some of that. Get some calories, at least get full. Um, and you know what? A little fire. Get ourselves a little morale boost. And we haven't played the harmonica in forever. Oh, actually, hold on. Uh, get the backpack, I suppose, and then wield the harmonica. We'll play a little harmonica, a little jig for ourselves. Get that morale higher. Um, where's that husk at? There's the husk there. There's the nadir here. I'm gonna just... Oh, we got another zombie. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. It's actually faster to get the laser weapon out. That's funny. Go get it out, I guess. Um, get some actual aim on, though. 
Oop, never mind. Guess I gotta run away first. Wait, what? Really? Okay, it did it did damage, it just didn't kill it. Yeah, you'll die next. Really? I just straight up missed him that time. There we go. Just breathing in the toxic air, don't mind me. Yeah, I'm feeling sick from that. <laughs> Our character's health is gonna be so bad. Doesn't matter how many vitamins you have, man. You just breathe in like disgusting gas. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter where our focus either is. We're still breathing in that stuff. Uh, let's take, take care of the Juggernaut so they're not going to come back and get us later. I do like having the inflammation. It gives me a nice steady stream of pain. I, it works out nicely for us, for this character. Um, hold on. We got our gun. Uh, yes. Stop aiming. Go ahead, shoot him. Uh, we do have repair nanobots on, so yeah, it should get stopped. Cool. Very nice. Right, so they're all taken care of. There's another juggernaut? Really? Okay. I just cannot get into the city, can I? The game doesn't want me to. Doesn't feel like it. Maybe I'll go back. Oh. take that guy out. And he grabbed me, it looks like. Okay, we're not really. There we go. Getting too many hits on him. There, I think we're okay, though. Yeah, I think that once we've cleared out this area, the city's gonna be pretty empty. Yeah, something happened over there. Something tried to fight something. Hopefully we'll be able to get to those, those uh, gyms relatively soon. Where was the husk at? I want to just I want to just check to see if I can get some CBMs. I just want to go for it, honestly. Okay, so that is closed. So if I drop that, that should allow me to dissect it. Let me get the scalpels out. Yeah, it's good. We'll see if we can get anything. I kind of doubt that we will, but I wanted to try. Our character needs to sleep, really. That's what I really should be doing. Getting some vitamins and going to bed. But maybe we can get rid of the rest of these zombies down here first. Harvey's over there complaining again. It's fine, we can ignore whatever comes our way. We just need to be able to kill it later. Another adrenaline pump, man, if we needed that. We would have like six of them. <laughs> kind of nuts. Uh, there's quite a few zombies around here now. Good. Good for us. Build to brute. Just take them out from afar. And we do have focus right now, so that's kind of nice, is that we're getting a little bit more ranged experience. And the nice thing about the range is that we're less likely to get sick from them as well. You know? Okay, we're out of mags. We're rounds now. Anyone else? I mean, that thing looks like it's gonna bleed out on its way over to me. I don't know if I need to kill it. Yeah, I might as well. Any others? Looks like there's a couple of them there. Yeah, I, I think that the hardest thing for me right now is that I'm working at my gaming station. <laughs> this is where I, I teach from. And it's also where I kill zombies. Which I, I probably should separate those two. I, I know that I should. You know? But I haven't really yet. It's also kind of like you can't really, realistically, if you're gonna have uh, a good desk, 
unfortunately. It's really hard to have that separated from your other good gaming set because it's like there's a lot actually that overlaps between the two in the distance learning set. You want to be able to sit there for like an hour plus, you know, looking at the screen for a long time. Got good lighting for myself. I'm going to have to be doing that. Um, yeah, that's a lot of corpses. But we are, we've cleared out a whole lot of them. It makes me feel a lot better. Okay, now we are almost to the area that we were at earlier. Um, there isn't that husk, is it still around? No, it, it, I'm pretty sure was what we saw earlier. It got like respawned. Okay, yeah. We gotta just make sure that this area is clear so that we don't end up getting uh, trapped, you know? Because that happens in this game as you go into cities. <laughs> you easily get surrounded. You're corrosive. Um, I kind of think we can get better focus than what we have right now. We'll just shoot you dead for now. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I think that my... I'm going to have to really adjust after this character because like, I don't even worry about acid anymore. And I'm very worried that I'm going to just walk up... At, with my next character and get myself just really badly hurt by acid because it doesn't even register, you know? <laughs> Gosh, there was a lot of fighting that happened here. It looks like there's a downstairs. I wonder if that goes somewhere. Good. This whole house is, like, st seriously destroyed. This is supposed to be a house, right? Yeah, okay. Hmm. Almost seems different than what I'm used to. Yeah, we got a whole lot of corpses around here. There's probably some good items. If I took the time to really pick through it all, you know? I feel like I'm, we didn't kill these guys myself, did I? Maybe I did. On the basketball court, making a kill him. Yeah, I mean, I think we're the thing is, is that we're not getting our focus up because we're c continuing to push in and kill, right? So, like, that's bringing our focus down. That the juggernaut, that is the juggernaut. Hello, we finally gotten him to come our way. Why don't we get the, um, the laser rifle out for this guy? I'll let him get a little bit closer to nice clear line of sight. Let's go auto. I'm just gonna let him get a little bit closer. I think that auto should, yeah, get all like max hits pretty much. 37 is pretty good damage. Okay, there we go. They're dead. Easy, right? Not too bad. You just gotta have the right weapon for them. And now we've cleared out a ton of space. Like, absolutely a ton. Okay, that's to my northwest. There's a lot of them up there. A lot of corpses up there. You know what? I think I might just burn them, honestly. Can I do that? Can I just set fire to a couple of these? It's like summer, so I think that they'll they'll burn. And I don't have to micromanage it. I'm picking up all these nails. I need to change that so nails isn't on my auto pickup anymore. That's should have not been on my auto pickup a long time ago. Yeah, removed from the auto pickup. <laughs> been slowing me down a lot. can't place items there. 
Um, I thought I could see it down there, but it looks like I can't actually. I'll drop the nails. Thank you. Yeah, I think that I was looking at a different tile. Where's that? That necromancer there. We're pretty close to the fitness gym. May go down and across. Why don't we get the car? Kind of head over down there. I think in between episodes, I'll get my character get some sleep. And hopefully that sorts us out. I wonder if the poison is part of us needing sleep. I don't think it is, but it could be. You know? Um, okay. Looks to me like we're kind of in the clear for now. Let's get this stuff out. Oh, never mind. There's a juggernaut right there. Okay. Kill him then. Okay, the sham the juggernaut is still kind of looking at us. I think that um yeah. Maybe our best move is to get into the car here. I don't know. Didn't I just press the oh there's something in the way. Push him out of the way. Close that. Get in the car. Back up. <laughs> right. And now I think we're kind of close to that reality bubble that we were kind of close to just a minute ago that had all those bubble, all the bodies that we were trying to respawn. That's probably good, right? Uh, can I also eat a battery? Just because we're kind of, um, we have a lot of power right now. Okay, yeah, we're hearing smash, which I'm pretty sure is from our fire. Almost positive. We look over there. Yep, we got a little fire going. Nice. Cool. It should draw things away from us, but it looks like that juggernaut's really determined to uh, push that car through to me. Maybe I can get him to come up here. Come up here, man. I don't need to be pushing the car. <laughs> eh. Okay, maybe he does. This is kind of funny. I do find that entertaining. Um, they're shoving the car out of the way, and they just keep on doing it, is the funny thing. Okay. I'm going to try and get some distance between us and you, friend. Making me a little bit nervous. Just hit you a few times there, just get you a little hurt. And then I'm going to try and get further away. Yeah, we're fine back here. Get the, that out. We're totally fine. Stop running. We'll get a little bit more battery power because honestly, charging ahead right now seems kind of dumb. You know, it's great how much the uh, the canned meat, how long that's last me. I like killed something and then just like canned a ton of meat and it's honestly like lasted just quite a long time. I'm good. Uh. Do I want to bring the car in closer? I don't think I do. There's some other zombies over there that have noticed me. Now they're coming over. I think one of them's the necro over. But we'll just kind of take them out from afar. There's a shock of loot that we just killed. They may have cybernetics in them, so that'd be nice if we could get them. Kevlar zombie. Yeah, we're punching through them pretty good. Necro boomer. I don't think they respawned anyone that time. Maybe they did. 
Maybe I just missed it. You know, I, I think that, yeah, we're from afar. We can just do so much damage. It's so crazy. Like, as, unless I'm really dumb, I really shouldn't be dying at this point. You know, like unless I'm doing something really, really dumb. There's the shocker brute. I would like to keep that corpse. Anyone kind of running towards me? Yeah, they kind of are. I thought so. Good, change that out. Nice, now we got every, all of our magazines on our person. They're not in the backpack. That's good. It should make things a little bit easier. There's, there's a hub here as well. See what I mean? Like, those cybernecks. Even when you're killing zombies, you're going to come across plenty of cybernecks. We might need to stop wasting our bullets so much. <laughs> I mean, we did actually get like thousands or, or something of them at the last place we were at, so I think that we're okay. But maybe not. Not hard to say. Okay. There are quite a few of them around here, though. I thought we were going to get to that fitness gym today, but it looks like we're going to have to do that. Um. Next time. Oh, at least the shots that kind of came to us. Kind of nice. Uh, hold on. I thought I was gonna get him even closer before he was able to do that. When we kill the other one, I'm gonna get just a little bit closer. Now we're dead. Thank you for delivering yourself to me. Kind of wait a little bit longer. I got these guys. And now. Gosh, now we're out of ammo for that as well. And there's the husk. Yeah, there's. We should get something from this. I've got a good feeling. Why don't we just grab that and get in the, the vehicle and, and go for it? I'd like to try. Oh wow, he's pretty heavy. have this be the last thing that we do, I think, is, yeah, because we're pretty, we're over the half an hour point, and I got things to do today, work, right, <laughs> huh. oh man, real life, it's coming back, bit by bit, we gotta get used to it again, we will, just gonna take some time, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it seems like we're getting more and more of the same CBM over and over. Okay, I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.